Then, Ali, uh, it seems now at this point that the U.S. and Russia now both agree that President Bashar al-Assad should remain in power at least for a transitional period. How likely is this to promote or hinder the talks on Syria's future? Well, I'm not sure that the Americans will agree with what you uh, just said, that they had agreed upon uh, keeping uh, President Bashar al-Assad. But yes, the Americans also understand that Bashar al-Assad should be part of the uh, transition period. Around, uh, around President uh, Assad, the idea of a transition period is not something that they can uh, digest or uh, 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 or accept, but yes, we are uh, seeing that the priorities in the uh, Syrian war is uh, moving in favor of uh, President Bashar Assad and keeping him in uh, in post, uh, while uh, ISIS is becoming the common uh, enemy. The question, as Mr. Harb uh, said, okay, you we are uh, talking reconciliation in uh, in Riyadh or in Vienna or in in Geneva, but the uh, main actors, the Al Nusra Front, which is Al Qaeda, okay, and uh, um, and the, the regime are not participating in these uh, talks. And uh, what would be uh, the results of, of the uh, Riyadh talks if the main uh, two actors are not involved in this uh, uh, in this effort? This is why I think that in the coming weeks, we are talking about a new plan maybe by the end of January, which means that uh, by the, uh, the second part of December and, uh, uh, and January, we are going to see an acceleration of the operations uh, on the ground and by the air, especially uh, by the Russia. Yes, gentlemen, there's a lot more to say. I know, Amir, we will have you back here again to talk about this more. Thank you very much for being with me this evening to talk about Syria. Its future is still unclear. We're